Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got a build-out and a review for you. I want to thank Nadiki for providing these frames. This is their XS XF5 frame. They also provided these BL Heli 32, their 32-bit ESC from Nadiki. These run DShot 1200, and then these Race 1 R1 2306 motors. So let's get the to the tabletop, and we'll kind of go over all this stuff. All right, so, you know, this is a well-laid-out freestyle frame. We'll get a little better look of it here. You know, 2-millimeter bottom plate, 2-millimeter top plate, 4-millimeter uh, chamfered arms, and the layers. See, see if you can get that. Are nice and tight. And it looks like decent carbon fiber. Machining is good. Chamfering is good. Um, it's really super, super sturdy. So, um, you know, I'm going to put this in the hands of my son because he's more of a freestyle flyer. He flies, um, the RR5 from, it's basically an impulse RC alien. And so this would be very similar to what he's flying because it's the same kind of layout. So I fly either an X or a stretched X. Well, a stretched X would be basically like that where you, it's longer front to back. Well, with freestyle, you know, we they're longer side to side. And so this would be great for him. Top mounted battery. You do have the option. You can run a bottom mounted battery if you want to on this, but it's primarily designed for a top mounted battery. And so, um, you know, it looks really nice. I'm glad to see the other Nadiki frame that I had was like 5.5 millimeters thick arms, and it was... To me, that's overkill. Um, so this is going to be great. Uh, let's get a weight on it here while we have everything out. Or actually, I don't have it out, but I'm going to in a second. And then we'll go through kind of the build of, of what we're going to do with it. Make sure you can see that. Yes, you can. 104, 105 grams, which is not... Um, uncommon with a freestyle frame. Freestyle frame has more standoffs usually. Uh, sometimes six. This has eight, just like the Alien or the RR5. Um, so let's get to the build out now. Also provided to me from Nadiki is these Nadiki BL Heli 32. So these are capable. This has got the um, 32 bit. So it's capable of running D shot 1200 and these are 30 amps and it's two to four S. So these are going to go on there. So excited to run uh, D shot 1200 with this. As far as motors, these are the race one R ones. Make sure you can see that really well, really a beautiful motor. Uh, 2306, and they sent me the 2750 kV. So this should be uh, plenty powerful. Reminds me a bit of the 2405 as far as just the machining and the way it looks of the 2405 motor from Hobby Wing. I don't know if if it's the same manufacturer. Um, let's see if you can see that. The gap is really nice and tight between the stator and the magnets, obviously curved magnets. Um, windings, well, you can see there, they're not absolutely perfect, but, um, you know, it's kind of the same thing on the hobby wing. The windings weren't, weren't, you know, like some of the motors I get in, the windings just are beautiful and they're all very, um, very, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Very nice and neat. And, um, but with the hobby wing wasn't that way and this one's not either. So, um, we're going to go ahead and see how these perform. These would be great freestyle motors, a lot of power, power with that 2750, especially in a 2306. Uh, let's see for flight controller, we're going to run the DYS F4 and this would be a perfect, this is an all in one. So we will not need a PDB. So with ESCs going on the arms, this is the only thing that's actually going to be on the stack. Um, right now we may change this moving forward. Um, as you know, sometimes I get different, um, flight controllers to test. So right now though, we're going to run this DYS MI 200 great little VTX for the money. It's 15 bucks and it works. So, 
Um, and then we would run this linear antenna and I would, the way I would mount this would be, uh, very forward on the, on the drone. Let's make sure you can, that that's in shot and, uh, underneath, not on top and then run the antenna out the back. And that's a really nice secure way of running it. Uh, for camera, we're going to run this TBS zero zero and get that on there and kind of give it a test. And then receiver, well, my son runs a Spectrum DX6i, so we are going to run this serial. This is SPM6468. This is their FP Racing receiver. Great little receiver. And so, you know, that's going to be about it as far as the build. Um, you know, I appreciate Nadiki. You know, obviously they provided the frame, the ESCs, and the motors for this. And we're going to get this going and just... Um, put it through its paces. So we're going to do it part two of the video. Um, we're going to have it, it'll be built and we'll have a little bit of flight footage of my son flying it around. So guys, appreciate you. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. And then you can, I'll put a link in the description to Nadiki's um, listings. Uh, they sell their products on Amazon. Um, and so you can check it out there and, and get an idea of pricing and stuff. So again, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you get some time to fly.